We have to go to Bethlehem, Joseph told Mary. Emperor Augustus has ordered that all of the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave now. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted along with all of the other people. It was cold when they arrived. Joseph knocked on many doors looking for a room, but everyone said no. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. I have no room, the innkeeper said, but you can stay in the little stable in the back. It's warm and the hay is fresh. Mary, did you talk to Joseph? Is he excited? Yeah, I did. At first, he was a little shocked. Having a baby is big news. He didn't know if he believed me about seeing the angel, but then he saw an angel too, and that angel told him that everything would be okay. Whew. Phew, yeah, that's good. Have you started planning? What's on your shopping list? There's less on my shopping list than there is on my to-do list. Oh yeah? What all do you have to do? Well, Joseph just told me that Emperor Augustus needs everyone to be counted, and so he wants to know how many people live here. So now we have to travel all the way to Bethlehem. But what? You're going to have a baby. Are you walking, jogging, grabbing a taxi? How are you getting there? For sure not a taxi, silly. I was sort of hoping you could help. Hey, me? I guess I can give you a ride. As long as you bring snacks. I like carrots. <laughs> Thanks, Carrot. All of that walking is hard on my feet. My belly has gotten so big. Anytime. That's what pals are for. <laughs> well, should we get going on this adventure to Bethlehem? Sure thing. Sweet. Let me go tell Joseph. He's in the house getting all of our stuff together. Meanwhile, while we get ready to go, let's see what our friends are up to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow, Kitty Kane, your tree looks incredible. Thanks, Noel. It really is special. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, just looking at it still fills me with hope. Mm -hmm. Me too. Now, speaking of hope, I really hope I can make it through these next couple of weeks till Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, there's only a few of them, and the tree is up. But now we still have so much more to do. Really? Presents. Yes, presents. We need to go get them. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I have to go to the store or do online shopping. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to set the table and send the Zoom link out to our friends and family. Right, right. That's stay safe. Mm -hmm. And we need to figure out what we're cooking and go to the grocery store Whoa. and oh my gosh i just i just don't know what to do there's just so much i don't know yeah well it's good that you have this list here uh that's a good start oh um, yeah yeah and listen all out makes it a little easier to handle also we can prioritize things like do the things that make the most sense first like yeah. it's still a few weeks we don't have to cook today oh, that's so true. A little less on our plate for right now. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. uh, there's still a lot of stuff to do. I but, know. Oh. Why, why does the season feel so full sometimes? I just want to sit by my Christmas tree of hope. Yeah, me too. It is nice. Yeah. But I, I remember something I learned in Sunday school. Oh, yeah? What, yeah. what is that? Yeah, this season's also about peace. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We... We can sit here and think about all the peace that Jesus is going to bring when he's born. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Well, that's a great reminder of the peace of the season and the joy that can bring, but now I just wish that I could do that and just not worry over all the other things. Can I do both? Oh, for sure. Oh? Yeah. Just... 
as we're getting ready for Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, we we can sit here and think about the hope mm -hmm. and the peace mm -hmm. and let that uh, carry through with everything that we're doing. So think about the peace that we're going to feel when we're sitting around having a great meal together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it makes the shopping a little easier and the cooking a little easier too. And thinking about how peaceful and hopeful we're going to be talking to all our friends over Zoom and our family. That's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. So the peace uh, that we're going to fill, uh, be filled with then can uh, carry over to now. Wow, Noel, that is such a great way to look at this season. I want everything to be ready, but more importantly, I want the peace of knowing that Jesus' birth brings hope and life to us all. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, well, I guess we can get to the, the to-do list. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I want to do first? What? I want to send out the Zoom link to all my family. Oh yeah, that's super easy. Yeah. All right, let's go. Sweet. Wow, I needed that piece, especially before such a long journey. Absolutely, and great entertainment for such a long journey. We've only got 85 miles to go. Isn't the trip 90 miles? We've only traveled five miles? Oh my. We'll get there eventually. I know something that'll help pass the time. Let's head into our small groups. Nothing makes a long trip better than some good conversations with good friends. I agree. Let's go! Mary, wake up! We're almost there! Oh, finally! Now is the place to stay! Joseph said he'd go knock on some doors for us while we have a snack break. Time for juice boxes and carrots. Yay! <laughs> Sounds great! It looks like he's knocking door to door. Uh-oh. There might not be room for us in the inn. It looks like every place is full. Never fear, Mary. I know what will cheer you up. SBC, songs, prayer, and an Advent challenge. Absolutely, and I know just the song. Thank you for keeping us safe on our trip. Thank you for keeping us safe on our trip. And giving us peace in our hearts. And for giving us peace in our hearts. We're so excited for what's to come. 
We're so excited for what's to come. In your awesome name we pray. In your awesome name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amazing. We've got an Advent challenge too. This week, go outside and sit for one whole minute. Sit and do nothing and focus on being at peace. If you find peace in doing something else, like looking at your Christmas tree, do that activity for a whole minute. Sounds great. Well, Carrot, let's get started on finding that peace after unpacking our things in the stable. We've got a lot to do before this baby comes. Yeah, yeah, specifically you. I'm going to go take a nap and find that peace. <laughs> good point. You had a long journey. Sounds good to me. As for the rest of you, we'll see you next week.